Hi Aries, Siberia from Cats and Cards. Let's get out some collective messages. I'm going to cleanse the auric field. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, and North Node. Click that like, subscribe button to further connect with me. I'll leave everything you need to know in the description box. Let's get it. Okay, so we already have some cards out here. I'm going to take them. Aries, there's some type of reckoning here. I mean, you're going to get your lick back. Look at that. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Libra, an Aquarius, a Taurus. There was some type of tower moment here. But it's giving you like this strength. I think something here, especially if it has to do with interpersonal relationships, um, it could be under the influence of past conditioning. Um, somebody could be um, in some type of addictive behavior. Things happening right now are because you are needing to detach one who wants nothing receives all there's divine feminine energy here for you aries red and blue are significant it's just right now it's out of your control so you have to continue to manifest for yourself you could be dealing with a pisces a gemini cancer energy is here still trying to nurture yourself or some type of creative um creative project you're working on give me evolution of the soul messages Aries, you show right up in the beginning of your reading. Don't be disillusioned by kind of like multi, um, multitudes of groups in spirituality. Don't be disillusioned by just what the internet says spirituality is. You're trying to dig deeper. Spirit is pushing you to dig deeper because something's coming towards you that you're meant to do. You're going to be the first to do something. Blue throat chakra is here. Expressive. It's, I see somebody kind of like, you could have been a Buddhist or a um, hoodooist or witch or witch doctor. And witching isn't always spell work and tarot cards. Witching is healing. Um, doctors are witching. They, they put a whole bunch of chemicals together to heal you. Boom. All right. So what else for Aries? I'm going to get some love messages out. You are defeating and mastering the 3D. Your sole purpose is here. Your unique talents and abilities are unfolding. Somebody is opening their crown chakra. Give me the person on the collective's mind. Aries, please. This person could be trying to come out of depression. They're in a wounded feminine energy, possibly. This could be a feminine going uh, through depression. The law of attraction is here. Now, I'm going to put these cards in the upright. Um... It's something that this person is attracting over the next two to three days. There could be um, delays in your life uh, as far as them coming towards you over the next one to three days. I'm getting a lot of twos and three. 23, 23 is significant. The 13th is significant. So Aries, the good lady is in reverse. I feel like you're looking at everything that has happened. And you like, huh? The number six, you could be dealing with a Gemini, an Aquarius. Give me more here for love messages. You are very gifted. If you are a feminine, the number 17 is coming out here. So the sixth through the 17th, where I live today is the sixth. You're going to be like receiving feminine. Give me masculine. So what does masculine need to know? Masculine, I feel like you're working on... Um, your feminine energy. The number 26 is here. Over the next two to six days, there's Sagittarius energy here. Um, spirit could be trying to get your attention. I feel like you're just in, um, you're in a funk, especially about your journey. Maybe you could be thinking about past events. Um, you could possibly be thinking about, there's addictive behaviors and sadness here. I, I do feel like you're working on yourself. You're expecting things to go wrong here. There's a tower. You just don't want to go through this tower. Or you don't want any anything to go wrong here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Give me a couple more on love messages for Aries Collective. Something's played out, especially when it comes to home life. I feel like you do really want family time here. You expect like um, fun, even interpersonal relationships. But there's something you're still working on. I feel like somebody does want to make their house beautiful. You're feeling emotional. This could be hormonal at this time, Aries. You're very intuitive, though. But there's something with the same repetitive energies. This could also be generational 
repeat energies with family situations. I feel like here there's some type of opportunity. Somebody does, there, be careful with an opportunity for a sexual conquest. But I feel like one way there's there's fights, there's, there's sex drive, there's war. Another way there's opportunity, there's help, there's a promise. Um, there's something about like you're fighting to like be the, the, the best in health and be the best in ability. There's some type of competition where you're at. Give me more for Aries. Ooh, look at this poverty mindset. This is coming in. This could be, um, a child healing your inner child. Give me money over the next four days. I feel like emotional spending is a, a huge no right now, Aries. Somebody could be smoking a lot. Give me more for money, career, finance for Aries. I feel like you're brainstorming here. You're trying to figure out something. You're, you're trying to rebel against something and stand in your truth, especially when it comes to your money. I feel like if there's people asking for money or... People don't know how you get in the money that you get, but you're going to propagate it into something that's going to make you money. Look, people don't know how you get what you get. Give me more for money and finance and be so unbothered by this energy. It's healing you. There's lots of beginnings and endings. There could be unexpected situations with money. Um, remember not to ob obsess over it right now. You could be frustrated with work at this time. Or there's a boss that's getting on your nerves. There could be an obsessive person um, creeping, for real. Your, your, your lesson right now is shadow work with money, unexpected situations at this time, Aries. The blood moon also gives me Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with an air sign. You could be dealing with a Cancer. I'm getting Pisces energy, possibly. What does um, Aries need to know? Next 48 hours. What's coming in? Thank you. There's a lot of playing, like a player ass energy. Just remember over the next 24 hours, this energetic theft could put you in despair. Do not um, connect yourself to these energies at this time. Because it's like you really, really, really want somebody to change or be with you. Or you want these motherfuckers that are playing too much. They may want to come towards you, but it's to control situations. What is the advice for Aries? I'm going to get one card from that deck. Broken energy. Don't overspend at this time. These broken energies want to come towards you. What is the advice for Aries? Keep the work in. Repetitive. Be mature. Be grounded. Be occupied with your money. It's going to work out in your favor. It may not look like it right now, but it is. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Over the next four days, it's you taking your power back. Things are slowing down. Um, there could be somebody out here that needs to heal all the problems going on. Do not take on this energy. This is a few people. This could be gossiping, just people trauma dumping. Somebody does want to come in after lying, cheating, and stealing and possibly heal something. Could be an Aquarius. Give me more on this person wanting to come in and reconcile. It's just a lot of sword energy. They're still very arrogant. They they promise too much. Um, Knight of Wands is a person that just really is immature. No fucks given. They want you to heal their sadness and grief. Mopey, mopey ass energy, really. Look, and it's flipping over on top of you. Like, they want to jump. They just want to jump. Somebody wants to start something. Give me more on this Knight of Wands. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it's somebody that's trying to get over some type of grudge. And they either live with you or they're very close with you. This grudge holder is in reverse. I, I feel here they're trying to heal from it, but they still have issues with it. Over the next two days, just avoid, avoid, evade, avoid trying to convince somebody, argue. It's just going to cause um, energetic theft for you. Thanks, Aries. Please like, subscribe.